Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well today. Today, we, we, this week, we've been talking about God's will for each one of us, all believers in 2023. We've talked about the Word of God, how it's important for you and I to be in, uh, in, in, our, in the Word every day. We talked about prayer. We talked about being a faithful witness. And today, we want to talk about you being involved. Every believer should be part of um, and active in their local church. Where are you serving in your local church? People say, well, I do this, and I, I work at the food kitchen, and I do this, and everything. Else. And, and that's very admirable. But in truth, God, if we look at back at Ephesians chapter 4, we see that God gave the, the gifts of the Spirit, the spiritual gifts, for the work of the ministry. And he says as, as those gifts are uh, are utilized, the church is built up. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4. Today we're looking at um, Romans chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And he says that you and I are to present ourselves as living sacrifices, that our bodies are no longer ours, but we now have given them to, to God. Now, like Christ gave himself to purchase our salvation, you and I now give our life while we're still on earth to fulfill his purposes for our life we are no longer uh in pursuit of our selfish desires but now we choose to serve christ and god has a place for you in the church that you're in so whether you're part of first baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, or somewhere in, in North Carolina, or Florida, or Washington State, or wherever, whatever church you belong to, you're supposed to be involved in. So let me ask you this, where are you serving? We know that there are rewards for those who faithfully serve God. And everything, um, I believe, um, comes together so that the Word of God is, is preached every Sunday. You see, the pastor can't do everything. He can't uh, preach and teach the Sunday school classes and greet people at the door and cut the grass and, and uh, you know, uh, repair the shingles and, um, you know, and clean the church and all this other stuff. You know, he can't do everything. Well, he said, well, he's a paid staff member. He should be able to do everything. No, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, he's employed to Almighty God. He answers to Almighty God, and you have to, he, he, God has put you in that church, not only to receive the ministry of the word, but also to be a minister yourself. We call it a church service. And so we have people in our church that are very gifted in ways that I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm not gifted mechanically. I, I, you know, I can't fix things. I try, but I've become so frustrated. It takes me five times longer, and it's not as good as someone who can uh, do it the, right the first time. And they're gifted in that way. I appreciate that. I appreciate those who who serve in the nursery and those who, um, who uh, have the accounting uh, skills to be able to handle the finances and make sure our bills are taken care of, because I don't touch anything that deals with money in the church that's my choice i you know what people get you get pastors get in trouble when they uh start putting their hands on money which i don't think people try to sometimes give me their tithe to put in the offering i don't do it i don't do it i don't want to do it i don't want anybody saying i saw a pastor getting uh getting money from somebody i'm not sure it ever made it to the offering no 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 you make sure you're your tide gets to there. You mail it in or whatever else. I don't see it. Uh, but I, I have people that are gifted in that, that do that, which I truly appreciate. And so everybody is gifted in some ways. And if you fail to do what how God has gifted you to do, 
There's a hole in the church. And we're not fulfilling every... Uh, we're not moving on all four gears. You know, we're, 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 we're stalling out because we have holes there. And somebody else who is already working now has to work over... They're, they're taxing themselves and they get burned out because everybody's not fulfilling their role. You have a role to play. First, I mean, uh, Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, this is our reasonable service to present our bodies as living sacrifices. As Christ gave his body for you, so you must give your body for him. Listen, most of the act, uh, activities that, that, that are involved in my church as well as in your churches take so little time. So little time, but they are so meaningful. Not only here on earth, but also in eternity. God's will for you in 2023 is to get involved. Find some place to get involved. Ask your pastor where you can get involved. Not only will you be a, a blessing to somebody else, but you will also receive the blessing. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Amen? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. Get involved.